your number one enemy in this war is the devil himself. When you begin to march for Saber Oath, you will realize that your contention will be with the devil himself. And the thing about the devil is, he's not going to come and say, I am the devil, oh! Oh, if he comes like that, even the weakest amongst us can discern him. So he will come with subtlety. He will come with all kinds of things. All he needs is a crack. Your second enemy is the world. And you see, the, oh, my time is gone. You see, the expression of the world eh, is in three spirits. The predominant expression is what we call Babylon. Hmm? And that is the satanic system that Satan has built that, that is anti the system of God. It's a satanic system. It's called Babylon. And the God in Babylon is gold, is mammon, is money. So people will do anything for money. Sell their souls. Bow to witches. That's why Yahoo is gaining ground in our nation. That's why Hukop is gaining ground in our nation. A young man who was, who was seeking counsel from me was weeping on the phone. He got into a city. He was the one that told me that there are apps that you can download from Android and Apple Play Store now. I didn't know. You just download the app and say, I'm in so 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 place. I need a man or I need a woman. Somebody will appear where you are. The applications. Some 15, some 16, some 18, some 25. You have a right to decide the age, the age range. Whether she should be black or he should be tall, dark, and handsome. You can on the app. Most of the time when you meet these people, they don't have Muslim names. We don't know that we are at war. And the system of the world has been rigged in such a way that if you are going to survive, your love for the world must be dead. Some of us, we are pretending that we love God. It's the world system we want. We're in love with what Satan is building and we will do anything to have our own portion in it. He says, love not the world. For if any man loveth the world, the love of the Father is not in him. The world is your enemy. The world system. The world system. They are dating sites now for married people. Eh? Where if you like to explore, they call it exploration. If you and your wife like to explore, you can join the app and you people can be exchanging partners. If you don't want to exchange partners, somebody else can come and live with you. And you people will be three together. I read on one of these new sites, because I know some of you, if I give you full details now, the first thing you do after the meeting is to go and look for it. Where a woman is living with two men. Eh? Two men. She's married to both. There's one. They are both married. Man and wife, man and wife. They are all living together. They have children together. So this husband can sleep with this woman. Get pregnant. This one can sleep with her. Get pregnant. They are enjoying it. That system is the system of perversion. It's an expression of the world. That, that spirit is called Sodom. Then there's Egypt. Egypt is the place of slavery. These are all expressions of the world. It's your enemy. It has its financial system. It has its way it expects you to do business. It has its system of compromise. It's the world. Your last enemy is the flesh. Is the flesh. Is the flesh. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it's of the world. Give me Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 2 as I begin to tie this up. Are you getting blessed tonight? Your last enemy is the flesh.
Oh, let's begin at verse 1 so that those who are not very familiar with this scripture will understand it. And you, he had made alive, who were dead in trespasses and sins, verse 2, in which you once walked, according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now walks where? The sons of disobedience. Verse 3. Among whom also we once conducted ourselves how? In the loss of what? The flesh. Fulfilling what? The desires of the flesh and of the mind. And we are by nature children of wrath just as the others. Your flesh. You see, brethren, the reason some of us are strict to our flesh is that we know it is a fight. 